So, so videos on demand are a great way to extend the reach of your content and make them available to a broader audience, to a, to a larger audience, right? So today we're going to set up a new Amazon interactive video service channel, and we're going to create a recording configuration that recording configuration will enable us, allow us to enable that channel to record automatically to Amazon S3 buckets. So this script uses the AWS SDK S3 client, creates an instance of that client, creates an object containing the create bucket command input, the expected input, and that contains one single property called bucket. We create a request, which is a create bucket command. We pass it the input, and then we get a response by awaiting the result of sending that request on the S3 client. So excellent. We have an S3 bucket. The next thing we need to do is create a recording configuration. The first thing we need to do is create a client and that is a IBS client. The next thing I need to do is create a uh, input object. This contains all the necessary information to create our recording configuration. So the first thing we need, we need to do is give it a name. The next thing we need is a thumbnail configuration object and within that thumbnail configuration object. We want to, we need to pass it two things. First thing we need to pass is a recording mode. So we'll use recording mode at interval. Only other thing we need to tell it is what that interval is. So how often do we want to generate that thumbnail? So I'll say 60 seconds. We need to add a recording reconnect window. The reconnect window is essentially telling IBS that within this time frame, if I start broadcasting again, consider this one single broadcast. We also need a destination configuration. The destination configuration must have an S3 property because that is the currently the only possible destination for recordings. And within that, we need to give it a bucket name. All right, so that is our input object. Create a request, pass it the input, and get a response by awaiting the result of calling send and passing it the request. And we can log that out. And we run that. We have a recording configuration response ready to go, ready to use this in our channel. So if we create a channel, paste in that ARN from the configuration that we just created. If we run that, excellent. We now have a brand new channel that we can use to live stream to. So stream.ibs.rocks right here. And my settings, I came in here, I pasted my ingest endpoint, I pasted my stream key, I click save, then I click the stream button, and we can see that our live stream is running in the preview player right here within the IBS channel. So I've got a live stream on a channel with a recording configuration. We come over to that S3 bucket, and if we drill into all of those different levels, as I told you, that would be based on account IDs and channel channel IDs and month, date, year, hour, so on and so forth. We finally get into this directory and we have a events folder and there is a recorded recording started.json file. We go to media, we can hop into thumbnails. We can see that we've got some thumbnails that have been generated already. We can come into the HLS directory we have all our different variations, our 1080, 160, 360, so on and so forth.